Birdemic is one of those so bad it's actually good movies. If you love The Room, Blackbird, or any movie made by Neil Breen, then you'll love Birdemic. It's got CGI so good it looks like it's from the Marvel Universe. <coughs> acting so strong that cardboard boxes and brooms are going to be left jobless. Really? Damn it! And sound design so masterful that even decades later Christopher Nolan adopts the same equipment. Let's dive into the seven reasons that make this movie a cinematic masterpiece. The very first one is the opening scene. Over the years we've seen some incredible starts from the chaotic opener of The Dark Knight. And there it goes. To the epic introduction of Star Trek by Mr. Lensflare himself. But nothing prepares your auditory and visual senses like the opening of Birdemic. Just a heads up, this is the actual audio and visuals of the movie. Why is he walking so unconvincing as a man? Why is the waitress a part-time ventriloquist? And how does she manage to say hi with almost a piercing bird-like screech? Is this a foreshadowing for the future? Was Arnie the main inspiration for her performance? I'll be back. And we are two minutes into the film and I am in awe of this masterpiece. Our protagonist then proceeds to perv on the hot lady sitting in the restaurant, but I'm not quite sure what she's actually doing. Is she chewing? Is she mouthing Morse code to us and she's actually in danger? Is she also a bird? Is she actually chewing bird seeds? I, I literally have no clue. Our dumbfounded protagonist is also drooling all over the place. Reason number two is our main man. Meet Rod. He has a heart of gold and the charisma of a wet blanket. While most movies have endearing leads with lovable characteristics like a personality. Rod, on the other hand, doesn't need that. He relies on an ancient form of acting. It's called method acting. Okay, I'll give you that and 50% discount. Can we close the deal today? Can I place your order today? Great, thanks. We appreciate your business. And unfortunately for Rod, he's been using the wrong method. He's the kind of guy who's got the self-confidence to ask a hot girl out, but immediately follows it up and celebrates like this. I'll see you then. Yes. Fun fact for you actually, Rod was played by a real human being. At first glance you'd think it's probably like a mannequin or a AI cyborg, but nope, nope, real human being here with emotions and things like that. Later on in press conferences he would say that the inspiration for this role was watching Mark Zuckerberg in public. Started building a simple AI to help run our home. <sighs> Jarvis, your Mandarin is so soothing. Number three is that this is the best love story ever told. Forget about Romeo and Juliet, because let's be real, what kind of love story ends with both of them dead? And also, like, was Shakespeare kind of high? He had Romeo and Juliet meet in public toilets where Romeo was peering through the fish tank trying to watch a woman launch a brown torpedo, but then accidentally catches Juliet, who's also trying to peep. Anyway, back to Birdemic. The whirlwind romance and the crazy sexual energy for their first meeting is just electric. I don't mean to bother you. I remember you now. You were my English class. I was. Yeah, I sat two seats behind you. You remember that far? Yeah. So, uh... It's almost as if they got a high school kid who's never spoken to a girl to write the dialogue. Anyway, our charismatic hero is so suave and sophisticated that one of the first things he says on the date is... I like sales. It fits my personality. And then we cut to the very next scene. Gee, I'm glad he wasn't trying to get some of that poontang, but like, wait, it's the next day and they've made out and surely they've banged, but no, he's actually fully clothed over the duvet. So what the hell happened last night? Did they just cuddle and stare blankly into each other's eyes? All right, onto the Oscar winning visual effects. I found a clip of the director telling us the painstaking detail his CGI team went to. Drag and drop a, an, an image of an ego onto the timeline and it's there. See that? Smaller. Move to any position I want. This helped the eagles look so lifelike that you would almost mistake them for the eagles in the Lord of the Rings. What I also love is the sheer audacity to do this to the audience. The incredible filmmaker sets a peaceful scene of a quiet town getting on with its day-to-day -day business before this happens. <laughs> That scene alone puts the shock and terrible, I'm, I mean, the, the terror into the film, but I'm still trying to work out like how, how the hell did the birds just drop random bombs? How, 
scratching my head here. I mean, they seem like quite well organized for like a, a cluster of feathered creatures, but how the hell do they acquire ammunition? Like I could hear bombs, I could hear explosions and like airplanes diving. Was this like a military coup? Was there like a depot with uh, open arms, lots of ammunition, bombs, just an open top, pick your own bomb and self checkout? They say to try and find reason and genius is madness itself. Anyway, onto this iconic scene. Our heroes try to make it to the van and then suddenly they are pounced upon by, yes, you've guessed it, birds. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Anyway, this is a scene of them shooting the eagles. It's a bit of a rip off of the classic Nintendo game, Dick Hunt, or something like that. On to number five, and it's the freaking acting. Damn, it oozes class. It oozes yeast infection kind of class. I have to say the bird CGI looks more real than the acting on show in this film. It seems like every actor seems to be eating wood for breakfast, so it's seeping out of every breath of their dialogue from our main energetic walks like a human lead to some wacky side character. The acting is so woeful that I think even if you had Tommy with so watching it with you, he'd be cringing and asking you to change the channel. But anyway, here's a mashup of the best acted bits I thought I'd throw in for you. The company NCT Software that I work for was bought for a billion dollars by Oracle Corporation. And this week, my startup company that I founded, Mass Solar, got funded $10 million by Evergreen what Capital. What are you talking about? I'm going out there to save them. Don't go! If you go out there, you'll die! They're dead already! Yeah, you're right. Do what you like, Natalie. Follow your dream. A hundred dollar a gallon if you want. What? A hundred dollars? That's outrageous. Well, either you take it or leave it, you know? Howdy. Hi. Can you sell me some gas for my truck? No masterpiece is complete without some pointless, random, and often cringe scenes. And this brings me on to the dancing scenes, which last two, three, maybe four minutes in this film. Our characters are dancing in an empty pub while the singer dude just like serenades them on their own. And it's the really cringe white people kind of dancing. If that wasn't enough earlier, they went to a nightclub. And since the director clearly had the mental age of a 17 year old, they weren't let in. So they had to CGI the nightclub scene in the background and probably filmed it in his like mum's basement or something. All and all these night scenes are like very normal for humans and exactly what all humans do before they b get into a bikini and dry hump the shit out of each other. Onto our final one and that is the incredible message this movie is sending out. If you haven't worked it out yet, shame on you because this is not a movie just about birds, it's about climate change. Now you'd be right to think that the birds were attacking the humans for a reason and it's not their crappy acting. Now the film doesn't really explain it too much but there is a segment about like the environment and climate change where the scientist kind of has a chat with them. So I kind of think the birds are just really pissed with destroying their homes and shit so they decide to drop nukes on us and kill everyone in sight. Seems like a legit thing to do. And it's a great message for humanity because if we keep doing what we're doing and destroying the environment then the next pandemic will be a bunch of birds flying and kung fu slicing your throat. Now if you enjoyed this click on the next video for some more so bad they're actually pretty awesome films. I'll also do some more Birdemic reviews. After all, there's Birdemic 2 and 3. Yes, your prayers have been answered. So maybe you can hit the subscribe, like, and bell. That really helps the channel out, and I'll, I'll love you and dry hump you. Thank you, and I'll see you in the comments.